Sinatra, they collectively became known as the Rat Pack. And actually, the name belonged to Humphrey Bogart. His little clique in Hollywood was the Rat Pack. And Sinatra called his clique the Summit. And that was Frank and Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., Peter Lawford, Joey Bishop. And they became the Rat Pack because Bogart had died and, and uh, the name was there. And it's the last time in pop culture when a stiff drink, a cigarette, and an extramarital affair was good, clean fun. Uh, now, you know, that's one of the reasons it's popular now. Popular, it should be added, even before Sinatra died. There is author Sean Levy's new book about the Rat Pack. TV Land's recent airing of a 1965 charity concert in St. Louis earned the cable channel its highest rating. I wanna go and bounce the moon yeah. Just like a big balloon John Travolta will star as Sinatra in an upcoming film, while Ray Liotta will play Old Blue Eyes in one now in production for HBO. Ladies and gentlemen, the next president of the United States, Senator John F. Kennedy. Jack, take a bow. These guys really loved each other. They had a great time together. They were, you know, helping Kennedy get elected. They were doing, they were shooting a movie. I mean, he, these were they, were, they were all friends. The Rat Pack actually did three movies together. Ocean's Eleven was considered the best, and the one that took place in their home away from home. Day after tomorrow, gentlemen, we'll be in Las Vegas. The Sands Hotel was the group's headquarters, and anybody who was anybody in Hollywood went there to see them along with, as Joey Bishop tells it, one woman who wasn't initially impressed with Frank. He said, which one is it? I said, it's the redhead. He walked over, this is as true as I'm sitting on this couch. He walked over, didn't say a word to her, extended his hand, she took his hand, they left. She came back an hour later, he came back an hour later. He said, I think she knows now what I am. You could never predict what you were going to see on that stage or what you were going to hear because they didn't know themselves. It was instant creativity. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob the Hope. Instant, maybe, but nearly 40 years later, once again popular. Ron Tank, CNN, Los Angeles.